This is a potentially devastating double whammy, and it's looming for people receiving the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP. Because of federal budget cuts, money for that program is getting cut in just about a couple of months. But now, food banks all across the country are blasting a U.S. House of Representatives proposal to cut an additional $40 billion over the next 10 years to SNAP. News 4's Lauren Lee joins us live from the San Antonio Food Bank tonight to explain. Lauren? Well, the food bank is already seeing a record need for emergency food assistance. In Bear County alone, there are 278,000 SNAP recipients. Many of them could have to come here if or when the cuts happen. I don't think I'm going to open that one up just yet. <laughs> Lawrence Gallardo is hungry. Two different poles. And he's hoping the Mashed fish in Miller's Pond are too. A couple of them in the freezer from last year. He makes the trek down to Old Pearsall Road as often as he can. You know, between doctor's appointments and what have you, you know. An hour-long bus ride gets him here. Sometimes he waits hours for a bite. I can't buy fish at the grocery store. I have to come out here and catch it if I want fish. I can't afford it. It's too expensive, even with the benefits. Food stamps help Gallardo and his wife survive. He's disabled with Gulf War syndrome. Extremely painful. Uh, there are some days I can't even get out of bed. He's been patiently waiting to hear if his military disability will be approved. He fell behind on child support, so the money in his disability check isn't enough. That left me 385 a month. My rent is 495, plus my utility bill. Is another thing I have to think of. His last check was even smaller, and just thinking that their food stamps could be cut. What do they expect us to do? You know, those that can't work, that you know, that actually need these benefits. They need to have a better screening process, and you know, find these people who are. You know, getting these benefits fraudulently. Unfortunately, the big fish aren't biting She's, today. It'll all be better come Friday, because Friday they'll stock more catfish. So he'll be back trying to catch their dinner again soon. The food bank CEO says it'll be impossible to keep up with the need if the deep cuts to SNAP do pass. The average family in Bear County receives about $284 per month from SNAP, but they could lose about $29 when those mandatory cuts happen in November. The House of Representatives could consider the additional cuts later this week. Reporting live on the West Side, Lauren Lee, News 4, San Antonio.